Hello everyone, welcome to this latest tutorial. Uh, this latest uh, tutorial is uh, like a pop-out theme, um, obviously with increasingly likely that uh, football around Europe is going to be played behind closed doors, everything's going to be watched on TV. I thought I'd do uh, some sort of basic tutorial on a, uh, a pop-out of a television. As you can see we've got Lewandowski here kicking, uh, kicking a ball out of the television. Um, we've got a nice uh, bird background uh, with some gradients and some paths. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it now. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to press Command N. If you're using Windows, you can press Control N. And I'm using 1600 by 1200 landscape orientation, 300 pixels per inch, RGB color 8 bit, and a white background. And I'm going to click Create. So at any point, uh, I'm going a little bit too fast for you if you're watching on YouTube. Okay, press key K on your keyboard, and this will pause it. Press J to go back 10-15 seconds and press L to skip forward 10-15 seconds, make things a little bit easier. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this little padlock down to the trash can and get rid of it. I'm going to go over here and select my rectangle tool. Okay, if you don't see it there, it's a, it, it, if it's a circle or an eclipse, just hold down. Okay, and then uh, just select which one you might like. I'm going to use a rectangle tool. Make sure you've got shape selected. Don't worry about the fill and the stroke at the minute. I'm going to go through that in a second. And all I'm simply going to do is just drag across, maybe a little bit too high, press Command Z to go back. I'm going to do it roughly around there. That looks a lot better. I'll close that there. Now for the fill, I'm going to uh, select this black and white layer here. In fact, I'm going to select that layer there, the, uh, the black and the white. Okay, I've got black selected there, and I'm just going to make sure you've got it on linear, 90 degrees. Okay, and I'm just going to click on this little white icon there. And excuse me, I'm going to click around for a blue color, maybe something in the region like that. Uh, I think let's have a look, let's have a little play. I think that looks okay. So I've used 304271. 304271. I'm going to click OK. And everything's looking good there. Now with the stroke, you want to make sure uh, that's cancelled. There's nothing on there. Okay, the stroke is just merely um, the outside of the shape. Okay, we don't we don't want any sort of stroke. So make sure you don't have a stroke visible. And I'm going to press Enter. Next, I'm going to select this background layer. Okay, I'm going to hit G on my keyboard. Which brings up this little uh, gradient icon there. Again, if you can't hot see it, just uh, hold it down if the paint monkey tool is showing and select the gradient tool. Now, if you notice, uh, my colours already popped up. I uh, set the black and white layer again, and for this blue colour here, just click this little icon, and the colour I've used there is three three four nine seven C three three four nine seven C. I'm going to click OK, and gradient type solid, smoothness hundred, location zero. We're just keeping it basic, a nice equal distribution. And I'm going to start from roughly around there. I'm going to drag up. Now as I drag up, I'm going to hold Shift to keep it uh, vertically aligned. If I let go of Shift, you can see it goes uh, anywhere and everywhere. Hold Shift, keep it nice and vertical. And I'm going to do it to about there. And that's looking good. I'm going to hit V uh, for my move tool. Now select the rectangle tool. Sorry, the rectangle shape. So as you can see, I've got two shapes there. I'm going to create a stamp visible. I'm going to press Command Shift Alt and E, and it creates uh, this visible layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create convert that to a smart object. Okay, this means we can just go back and edit it. I'm going to, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I've selected six pixels and blends it in quite nicely. And I'm going to press OK. What we can do now is we can group these layers. So the top layer is selected. Hold Shift and select the bottom layer excuse me, and you'll notice that all three layers are now highlighted. I'm going to press Command-G on my keyboard or Control-G and it groups them and I can call that background. And I'm going to give that a light blue colour. Brilliant. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring in the TV layer. So, it's my finder. I'm going to that wrong picture. I'm going to bring in the TV. Now, I couldn't find an actual PNG of a television, so what we're going to do is just going to cut it out. Now, press enter there. There's different ways of uh, cutting out and using selections, uh, the magic wand tool being one of them, etc. 
but um, I just like to use the pen tool. It's nice and clean, and nice and crisp. So if we zoom in just at the top there, I'm just going to select just on the inside. I'm going to hold shift again like we did on the gradient to keep it nice and vertical. And I'm going to select it there. Now you can notice there's a few pixels just on the right. That's perfectly fine. That's kind of how I want it, just so it's nice and clean. We've got this clean background. Because if we zoom in, those pixels are just a bit blurry anyway. Come out of that a little bit. I'm going to select that layer there. Come along. Select that layer. Uh, corner, sorry. Hold shift, keep it nice and vertical. And again. Now I'm not going to link them up just yet. Just roughly there. And now I'm going to close it up. Come out in zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously when you uh, do select the pencil, sorry, make sure you've got path selected and not shape. Okay, I'm going to make a selection. Have radius zero, anti allies new selection, press OK. Okay, we've got I like to call them the uh, the marching ants. While these marching ants are there, I'm going to press Command J on my Mac. It's a shortcut or Control J, and that creates a new layer. So if I was to hide that layer, you'll notice we got rid of the background. Don't worry too much about that handle. Again, I just got rid of it. I'm not too interested in it. And I can drag and drop and get rid of that. Hit V for the Move tool, and I'm going to place the television. Command T to bring up constraints. Again, if you're working on a newer version, you'll notice uh, you can just drag it and it'll keep in size proportion. If you're working on an old version than 2019, like myself, okay, you just need to hold shift. And that should look good about there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the background layer, create a new layer. So we've got a layer in between. Hit B for my brush tool, got white selected. Got the flow round about 5%. Use my bracket crease, make it a little bit bigger. Nice soft brush. Okay, I'm just going to paint a little bit of brightness just there. And it just adds a little, more, 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 a little bit more depth to our image. I'll just call that brightness. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our layer. Um, a football pitch. So this is the Allianz Arena, I believe. I'm going to drop the opacity down. Okay, and I'm going to line it up with the center of the television. And I want to get the lights in, but I'm going to twist it around just slightly, just so the horizon of the pitch, if you can see, is kind of aligned with the horizon of our image. Something around there will do. Okay, go back. Just hide that a second. Go back to our television. Hit P. Make sure you've got path selected. And we're just going to select just inside the television. Hold shift again, make it nice and vertical. And bring it up. Okay, you notice now we've got our, our work path there. Okay. While well, we've got path selected, going to make a selection again. Zero pixels, anti-aligned, press OK. Now we're going to uh, highlight our layer there, select it, bring the opacity up. OK, you can still see it. So now when we cut away, OK, what you'll see is, you'll see just what's, the only thing that will be left will be the inside of this image. So, marching answer on, so you've got your path selected. OK, you've got this layer selected, this is important. You've got this layer selected here. Go down to our layer mask, click it, and you can see we've worked non-destructively. And we've got rid of the pixels. Press Command Zero to come back out. Now, before we drop in uh, Lewandowski, what we're going to do is just going to add a little bit of brightness coming off the television. So again, select that brightness layer again. New layer. So I like to work in multiple layers. Okay, hit P for the pen tool. Path selected again, and I'm going to click just around there. So this is all going to be painted on behind the television and underneath it. Something around there. And then close it up. Make sure you've got selection. Select selection. We've got our marching ants. Hit B for the brush tool. Keeping it at 5% flow, 100% opacity. And I'm just going to drag and drop. Something like that. Looks okay. Press enter. Press command D to deselect. You notice we've got our brightness coming off the television. Might be a little bit too much. 
So we drop it down, drop it down to 60. It's looking fantastic. Okay, we're going to convert that to a smart object. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and 20, maybe a little bit too much. Try 10. Yeah, it looks okay. So you can see that again, if it is a little bit too much, just drop that opacity down again. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So it's nice, nice, nice and subtle. We'll call that TV screen brightness. Brilliant. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in uh, Lewandowski. Now, if you noticed on the image, if you didn't notice before, dragging up to the top. Okay, it was the other way around. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press Command-T, bring up the Constraints tool, right-click, and I'm just going to flip him horizontally. Okay, it's up to you if you want to uh, play around and uh, get rid of the logos and stuff. Okay, but for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, I'm not really going to bother. Okay, so a couple of things we need to do just before we get started. I'm going to make two more layers. So press Command-J on each one. So we've got three layers of uh, Lewandowski. Okay, one we're just going to cheat and have as the ball. One is going to be him popping out, and the other is going to be his shadow. So just hide the bottom two. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll click on the, the top one here, create a layer mask, black selected, B for the brush tool, get the flow right up. Nice hard brush tool. Okay, what we're doing is working non destructively as we paint away. Okay, just get rid of him. If we want to bring him back, we just press X, make sure we've got white selected, okay, and just paint on and it'll come back. But we, for that purposes, we don't want that. I'm gonna call this layer the ball. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna position the ball, press Command T. Obviously, the system still thinks he's there, but we're just cheating a little bit. And kinda of want the ball to dominate the picture. Drop it somewhere around there. Okay, we're going to uh, just rasterize that layer just so and convert it to a smart object. Okay, so we've just got the ball. I'm going to go to filter, blur, and motion blur. Okay, angle at zero, so it's just going straight across. And I've got a distance of 10 pixels. And if I get rid of the preview, okay, you can just see it just gives it a small effect. I'll bring that one up. Okay, I'm just going to click the next one there. I'm not going to highlight though. I'm going to bring in a new layer. I'm going to call this the ball shadow. Okay, hit B on my brush tool. Right click. Okay, I'm just going to bring it down something like that. Okay, want a nice soft brush. Sorry. Bring it down and the flow. Try round four. Helps if it was in black. <laughs> just something nice and subtle like that. Nothing too crazy. Uh, just enough so you could uh, you could see it. And I'm going to group these as well. Just keep it tidy. Command G. I'm going to call that group the ball. Okay, now I'm going to bring in uh, Lewandowski. Okay, notice the ball's popped up again. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer mask. Hit our B for our brush tool. Nice hard brush. Make sure we've got black and white selected there. If you don't see black and white, sorry, just press X and it'll uh, D uh, one or the other, and then X swaps them over. Okay, bring the flow right up. And we're just going to get rid of that ball. Excuse me. So now we're going to position Lewandowski, and he's a little bit too big. Shift and Alt, and I kind of just want him just popping out and. Something maybe like that. So kind of want his boot and his arm out of the way. Press enter. Now what we're going to do is this little uh, icon here that we use for the television. Okay, we're going to select it, this little window. Hold Alt on your keyboard. Just drag it up. And yeah, just click, replace the layer mask. And there we go. He's, uh, he's popped into uh, the television as well. Reselect this layer now, this Robert Lewandowski layer, select the layer mask, 
and you guessed it, we're going to have white selected and we're just going to paint his arm back just there and press V. So uh, we're getting the look that we so desire. And this final layer of uh, Lewandowski, okay, what we can do is we can create a layer mask, get rid of that ball again, hit V, okay, make sure you selected, go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, bring the lightness right down, click OK, now he's completely black, press Command T, bring the top layer down, and we're going to create a shadow, press Enter, now I kind of want to go behind the TV, so I'm just going to drag it uh, behind the television layer, so yeah, somewhere around there. We'll move it. I'm just going to have his arm in. I think that'll do. So what I'm going to do is just uh, create that layer mask as well. I'm just going to paint away that. So select that little icon there. Hit B. And just paint away there. V. Okay, convert to a smart object again. So we can go back and edit it. Filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. 10 pixels. In... Yeah, 10 pixels looks okay. Okay, you can see it's a little bit darker than the ball there. So, play around. I'm probably just going to drop the fill a little bit. There we go. Looks uh, a little bit more subtle. And now it's over, it's over the top of the brightness of the television as well, which looks good. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty much done. What we can do is just a final adjustment. Okay, Command, Shift, Alt, and E. Create a stamp visible. Convert that to a smart object. Okay, we're going to go to filter, go to camera roll filter, just a few little uh, finishing touches. Okay, the temperature, I'm going to drop down to minus 15. Tint, minus 15. And these are just settings that I play around with. So again, feel free to play around to your heart's desire. Get minus 6. Contrast plus 15. These are the settings from the uh, one previous plus 15 plus 16. It's okay. Highlights minus 60. Minus 58. That'll be fine. Shadows plus 60. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whites plus 50. Blacks. 40, 39, that's fine. Clarity, plus 38, I had. Plus 37, that's fine. Vibrance, plus 10. And saturation, I had plus 8. Just saturate a little bit and press OK. And there we go, there's our final uh, pop out image. Hope this tutorial was a benefit for you. If it was, hit that like button. Uh, any questions or anything you're unsure of, hit it in the comments below. Uh, really enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you did too. And yeah, thanks a lot. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.